morning, friends. Coach Sarah here with Array of Hope Health. If you are joining me, hit hashtag replay. If you're watching from YouTube, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and the notification bell. Okay, you guys, I am really excited to show you the laziest way to make poodle doodles. This recipe is actually by my friend um, Sarah Hardy with My Montana Kitchen. This recipe is amazing, and I hope you guys find it really easy to make. I, I know that um, it's really busy right now. Tis the season to be busy, and I don't want anybody derailing, and so this is something that you can make in just a few minutes. So if you're joining me live, be sure to say hello. Hi, Ruth. How are you today? So I'm just going to gather up all the ingredients because I know a few of you want to make this live with me today. So I want to make sure that everybody has all of the supplies out. Oh, I got to grab one thing. I see something weird going here. There we go. Okay. Something popped up on my screen. It was going to drive me crazy the entire time. Okay. Hi, Nikki. Are you going to make some of these? You need to make some of these right now. These are so good, they're amazing. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you everything I have out so you guys can get all of your supplies out as well. I'm just gonna use one, I'm gonna use two bowls. So this bowl is not microwave safe. If you wanna do it all in one, you can, but I'm gonna show you why I'm gonna do it in two bowls. So I'm gonna have one bowl for mixing, one bowl for melting my butter. I have a cutting board to chop the nuts on, my chopper, I got out my walnuts, I have uh, my Gentle Sweet, which you guys, Facebook was not cooperating with me today, so I think everything is not inverted for you. I'm sorry, I love you guys, but I don't know. Facebook was giving me a hard time. So I have my, look, look what I found, you guys. I found my coconut flakes at Walmart, yay. But they were limited. The entire baking aisle looked like somebody, like a tornado struck it. I was like, whoa. Uh, I found these ones at Whole Foods, and I had an idea for you guys. If, I know some of you had made the comment that you're not super into coconut flakes. Um, I know some of you had allergies. I don't know what to do there for you. But if you can have this, I don't feel like it has a super strong coconut taste. Like, I really don't taste it. But it does have the texture if you use the flakes. So my thought was maybe get the, um, this one's shredded. It's so fine. I don't think you would notice it at all. So this could be an option for those of you who really don't like the texture of like coconut, little coconut flakes. So that's an idea. Okay. And then I have my big bag of flax. I get this one at Costco. Have you guys seen this huge one? Then I know some of you were like, Oh, I don't have flax. Just get a giant bag. It keeps forever. So I've had this forever and it's, it hasn't gone bad. You can always smell it. I don't know what it smells like though, if it's like rancid, you guys know? I think flax smells weird anyways. I don't know. <laughs> okay, um, what else? Oh, for you guys, I know some of you made, what was it last week that we made? Oh, the pecans. I wanted to just throw this out there. I heard um, from my dear sweet friend Bridget, she said that the xylitol free one is the one that hardens best for the pecans. So I just wanted to let you guys know that because that's, I only use the xylitol free because I'm sensitive to xylitol and this one tastes amazing and it's like powdered. It doesn't clump. So I always just recommend the xylitol free just so you guys know what I'm using exactly. All right. Who else is here? Menards has coconut flakes. Who knew? That's crazy. Hi, Karen. Hey, Sherry. Hi, Lori. Okay. So what else do we need? I am going to be using my favorite chocolate chips. Uh, these are the 365 sugar-free brand. The reason these are my favorite is there's no inulin, there's no junk, there's no fillers. So I don't have any issues with these. Um, you can use whatever one you want, but this is what I'm going to use. And then I have butter. And I think that's it. I feel like that's it. I hope I got everything out. That's it. Okay. I am also making a double. So if you're following along with me and doing the recipe, you're gonna want it in front of you because um, I can't give you the exact measurements on things to honor our good friend, Sarah Hardy. And so um, I will link the recipe for you guys again in the comments when we're done and in the description. So, okay. Hi, Melissa. If you are following along, 
You may want to start your chocolate chips now. I'm going to start my chocolate chips now because I'm going to use my uh, Wilton chocolate melter. So I'm going to go ahead, you guys, this isn't rocket science, but I just guess I'm making a double. So if you're making a double, you're going to do what I'm doing. If you're not making a double, please really look carefully at the measurements you're making because I everything you're seeing here, I will explain like if you're making a single what you can do. So I feel like I need a little bit more. I just eyeball the chocolate chips part. If you like extra thick topping of chocolate, add more chocolate. If you don't, add less. It's totally up to you. So I'm just putting it, can you guys see my, you can't even see my chocolate. I put it on my chocolate melter. I'm just gonna have that start going so we can get going here. Now, I am also going to, in my bowl, just soften my butter. I recommend it being completely melted. I think it's the easiest to mix. So I'm just gonna throw it in for like a minute and then we can mix everything else up while that's going. And that's why I use two bowls because while that is softening, did I do a minute? I think I did 30 seconds. There we go. While that's softening, we can add everything to our bowl. Okay. All right. So you guys are amazing, by the way. Can I just tell you guys how awesome you are? Uh, I just posted, I, this is like this, well, technically the third time I've made this. Um, but seriously, you guys just made this go viral. I love you guys. You guys are just so awesome. Can I just, eh, I love you guys. Okay. Um, we're going to add, I, it doesn't really matter the order. I literally wrote the recipe on my notebook. Yes. It's that, it's that easy, you guys. So let's see, I should probably, I'm gonna add the coconut flakes first. Again, I'm doing a double, so keep that in mind. So you can add your coconut flakes. We're just gonna dump everything in this bowl. So coconut flakes, I feel, I'm almost out on this bag. This is why I had to make an emergency run to the store, you guys, because I realized I wanted to show you all the steps, and sometimes when I do that, I have to make a batch beforehand. And I thought, oh, I'm gonna be out of coconut flakes with one bag, so here I am. And I know people will appreciate having this treat on hand for Christmas. My family eats stuff like this so fast. So fast. All right, how are you guys doing today? Who's here? Allison, Jennifer, hi. Okay, I think our butter's already done. Wow, that's because I'm gabbing. All right, see, so melted. We're gonna add that last though. Now we're going to add some gentle sweet. So if you have your gentle sweet handy, go ahead and do that. Let's see if I can put it in here and measure it. Okay, also put on some really fun Christmas music while you're making these. I normally do. I'm like usually singing and dancing in my kitchen because why not? But Facebook and YouTube do not like if I have music for copyright reasons. So we have to be quiet. <laughs> it's very hard. Okay. So we have gentle sweet. We have coconut flakes. We are going to add our flax. Ta-da. Then we are going to add, is that it? Our nuts. Wow, this is so easy, you guys. Okay, I'm just gonna use my, I have this huge, giant Costco container of walnuts. You can use whatever nuts you like. If you don't like nuts, just don't put nuts in it. You guys get to decide. I wanna empower you guys to do that. Like, don't be afraid to try things. Okay, so I'm just gonna chop these up. I think we need to do about four of them. Again, see, I don't, I don't really, I just like kind of know how much I want in there and eyeball it. Okay, just a couple more. You guys have any questions? I'm trying to think of the questions you guys have asked. Um, what else? No, do you have to add nuts? No. I store these in the freezer, so I'm gonna show you guys. I literally just made a batch so I could cut them in front of you guys too. That's why, this is why this is the third one. 
Okay, I'm just gonna do one little, again, this is a double, this is a double, so. Okay, I've never seen that chopper. Oh, you put them in whole? Oh, that, yes, that is extra lazy, but you know what I like about it? Like this, you, you end up using less nuts if you chop it, and um, it, there's like a little piece of nut in every bite, every single bite, that's why I like it. All right, so I'm just gonna mix this like this, just a little bit. You can skip this step if you don't want to. Then we're gonna add in our butter. This is why I like it melted. It just makes it easier to mix this together. Yes, yes. Okay. Hi, Carissa. How many of these are a serving? Oh my goodness, you would ask that question. I don't know exactly. I have to look at the recipe, which I didn't, I don't have it in front of me because I wrote it in a notebook. Sherry, shame on me. I ate like, I, I'll show you how I cut them and I eat like three of them, like, but I cut them pretty small. So it depends on the size you cut them, I would guess. Or have one like for your dessert after dinner, but don't go crazy, have like one little one. Okay. That's it. Isn't that beautiful? Now, I'm gonna give you guys some ideas. Yes, I am. Ta-da! Okay, we are going to put this in a nine by 13 pan. Again, I did a double. I just wanted to try some stuff so I could show you guys different options. I did, the one I just made, I put in a, what is this, an eight by eight square? Yeah, eight by eight square pan with parchment. Or um, we're gonna try this. I hadn't tried it yet because I'm telling you guys, this is literally the third time I've made this recipe ever. I never made it before, it's so good. Um, my silicone, if you have the Epicure silicone, you can, someone even used their, one of you lovely ladies used your steamer and put it in there to keep the square shape. And I thought, whoa, that, you guys are so smart. You guys are so smart. So anyways, I have one. I'm gonna pull it out so I can show it to you guys. I want, I let this one, firm up a little bit longer because I wanted to see if it would pull out completely uh, hardened. Like when we get there, we'll get there in a second. <laughs> You're like, what are you saying? What are you saying? Okay. Um, you didn't see, oh, is there peanut butter? You're right. There is peanut butter. I totally forgot. I think I messed up this other recipe. That is so crazy. I'm going to grab my peanut butter. Look at you. Oh my gosh, Marissa. How did I miss the peanut butter? Is there peanut butter? I feel like I need to check this now. <sighs> you guys, wow. I think I've been making it without peanut butter. I'm gonna have to taste this and tell you guys if I really messed it up. You're right, I know there's peanut butter. Oh goodness. Yep, this is what happens at Christmas time. Anyone feel me? Okay, I'm. you guys get this. If you see this at Costco, they had been out of the peanut butter. It's fine. We're going to be fine. We're going to have peanut butter. I just don't remember how much. I'm going to guess. It's going to be fine. There's peanut butter. I can't believe I forgot peanut butter, you guys. Anyways, yes, holidays. My brain is going all the time. I'm going to taste these other bars. I literally made them without peanut butter. Oh, my goodness. Just put hashtag winning. <laughs> I'm laughing at my own self. Oh, my goodness. Okay, let's see. I can't remember how much and I can't look because y'all are on my phone. Tammy, you're laughing at me, I know. I'm laughing at me too. Oh, goodness. You lightened up poodle doodles, yes, right? Ooh, okay, I'm gonna taste them. Now I'm not sure if I forgot them in the first batch. I thought they were amazing. Either way, we're going to find out. Okay. You guys want to help me out? How much peanut butter? Is that, Marissa, is that, oh, double? You're going to double check. Bless your heart. Thank you. Um, you think it's a half a cup. Is it a cup, though, if I double it? Um, yes. I am, yes, Liz. I'm showing how to use the silicone, too. Okay. Sorry, wasn't planning. I totally spaced the peanut butter. Oh my goodness. Okay, it's fine. We're going to add it right now. 
which is really funny because the texture seems fine. Don't know. Okay, did we figure out? Oh, okay, cool. So we need a lot. I'm gonna add more. This is my favorite peanut butter though, you guys. Did I finish talking about this? They didn't have the um, regular peanut butter at Costco for like a month, which was crazy. Like the unsweetened, the one that has no, it's like the Kirkland brand. So I started buying this and it's so good. It's made with seeds. Oh, it's so good. It's just divine. And I use, I make all the Kit Kat, you know, the giant Kit Kat. I make that with this too. And it's amazing. Okay, we're gonna find out now if my other recipe is sad <laughs> or happy. Then y'all, then you guys will all know. Oh my goodness. Oh, you melt your peanut butter? You know what, this just went right in. But I suppose if your peanut butter's been in the fridge, you probably would want to melt it for sure. So. You know what? This texture looks better than the one I had earlier. I didn't even think twice about it. Nope, I didn't. Okay, so that's it. This is it mixed. I'm going to put it in. This one's probably going to taste better than the other one. Being all delicious and stuff. Ah, this is really good. So I'm going to, oh, you know what I forgot to show you guys? One tip with your parchment paper, I'm just gonna grab some. If you guys haven't done this before, when you get out parchment paper, like crumple it like this into a tiny ball. And then when you go to put it in, it will lay flat for you. It'll lay, you just smooth it out. It's easier, because otherwise it's like all over the place and it wants to fall out of your pan and it's like, wow, what's happening? So do this, crum crum crumple it. Thank you, Marissa. Bless you. All you ladies for helping me. Oh my goodness. See, I need a helping hand too. I do. I need all the help I can get, friends. I can. My helpers are gone right now. My girls are actually with their dad in Arizona right now. We had, um, this is a long story, but one of my dear family members could use some prayer. And so my husband packed up my girls and took a very fast, quick road trip to Arizona to visit family. And um, he's coming back tonight though. So they'll be home for Christmas, but I've had, I've had no help and clearly I need help. I need all the help I can get. <laughs> and they're not here. So it's been just all on my lonesome. Well, I have my, I have my little people, which you guys know. Um, if you have only little people, I just want to commend you. I forgot what it's like to just have only littles because my girls are so amazing at helping me. Okay, so I just flattened it in the pan. It's a lot of work when you have just littles because uh, my two little people are very busy. Okay, I'm, I'm just stirring my chocolate. If you are doing the microwave method, I'm gonna let that melt just a second longer. If you're doing the microwave method, you're gonna wanna put it in the microwave with like two teaspoons of coconut oil and go ahead and do that like right now. And then after you get that softened, which I know you guys, the Lily's chocolate, I don't know why, but you have to watch it super closely. I do like 45 seconds. If you don't watch it closely, it like coagulates into this like hardened weird ball. Anybody like have this experience? It's really weird. So be really careful and watch it super close if you guys are doing that right now. Okay. Allison, five kids, eight years and under. Oh, you need this recipe, girl. I feel you. You need it quick and easy. Okay, so while that's finishing melting, then we're just gonna put it on top. Then it's gonna go in the freezer for 10 minutes. Okay, I do want to tell you guys, I have a deep freezer and it's like zero degrees. So I just want to say like, if you pull it out after 10 minutes and it's not completely firm and it should be still soft, but the chocolate should be hardened on top. If it's not ready to cut, just put it back in for a few more minutes because I know everybody's freezers are a little bit different temperature. I'm just saying that. So this is my peanut butter free version. We're going to find out if it tastes any good. <clears throat> okay. The weird ball, oh my goodness, right? <laughs> okay, so I, this is the nine by 13, 
And then I also did it in the silicone. So we're gonna just check it out and see how it did. And cut it too. So this one's ready to cut. So I'm gonna check my chocolate while we're. Oh, that's almost perfect. I should have stirred it earlier. If you're doing it, like keep stirring. You guys all need a chocolate melter. Did you guys ask for one for Christmas? I hope so. So look at this. Ta da! This is without peanut butter. Oh, Sarah. Oh, goodness. Let's see if it tastes any good. So I cut them like this. And then after, I, you can cut it whatever size you want. So I think this is, I just like little tiny squares, <clears throat> almost fudge, fudge size. Is this in the way? So you guys can see what's going on here. There. Okay. Hey, Amy. Hi, Marcy. Okay, you guys think this is gonna be good or bad? What's your verdict? Look how cute they are. Do you see how adorable these are? Uh, I like it. That sparks joy in me. Okay, I'm gonna get a plate. Let's put, so then you can serve them on a cute little plate. Isn't this cute? And make yours with peanut butter, unlike me. The next batch is gonna be perfect. All right, these are more crumbly. That's because they don't have the peanut butter. Peanut butter binds things together. Oh goodness, okay. Isn't that cute? All right, I'm gonna try this because maybe it's gonna be amazing. I bet it's gonna be so sweet, but I don't know, I'm scared. I'm scared. This is my thinking brain. I'm thinking about it. They're not bad. They're really not bad. I definitely want them with the peanut butter, but I mean, I'll eat these. This is fine. You know what I could probably do? Just drizzle some peanut butter on top or something. Yeah, they are great, Marissa. <clears throat> they're good. I definitely think they're very sweet though. If you like sweet, you can make it this way. Woo! They're, they're very sweet. So. I hope you learned something through me. Don't forget the peanut butter. Ha! Huh? Oh my goodness. Okay, let's try the silicone one and then we'll put the chocolate on top. So this is the silicone. I just wanted to see if it would pop out. I'm just gonna move this. There we go. Okay, do we have a, where do I put my parchment? Here we go. I'm just gonna put it on here so we can cut it, hopefully. Oh, I love it. Okay, the reason I love my silicone, then you don't have to use parchment. So if you have one of these, use your silicone. It's like amazing. So, okay. Come on guys. Like amazing, right? Look at this. Ta-da, this is so awesome. I just love my silicone stuff. Makes me happy. But I like showing you guys, you can make it without, but man, if you're gonna be making treats all year round, I use those things for everything. You guys have probably seen it in all my videos. So, then you can cut these. I mean, this one, if you want them to be the square shape, then you would have to use the round steamer. I just pulled these out of the freezer too, so they're a little bit, are you noticing it's a little bit harder to cut? So you guys get the idea though. All right, this, this works. This works too. Okay, good to know, I love it. And do you get chocolate all over your hands? The answer is yes, yes you do. So cut them small and then in between, this was another thing, one of you had commented, how do you avoid this? Well, first off, cut them in advance so then this doesn't happen. And then second, um, in between, like if you have them sitting out for a long time, go put them back in the fridge for just a little bit of time because when they're little tiny bites, it's not going to, it's not going to get like this. This is because I'm sitting here touching and, you know, grabbing it. Okay. Well, hi, Tabitha. Good to see you. Okay. We are ready to put the chocolate on top and I already showed you the finished product. 
without the peanut butter. It's still okay. Gonna still eat them. Maybe we'll give them to Termalthy Papa. He loves stuff like that. <laughs> so if you don't like, if you don't want the chocolate layer too thick, then just use less chocolate chips. If you like it, if you like a lot, then do more chocolate chips, however you want. It's totally up to you. Okay, so I'm just spreading this on. Then this will go in the freezer for 10 minutes. And then I will cut them up. If you leave it in too long, they get a little bit too hard to cut. So I would suggest cutting it at the 10 minute mark. And then you can, if you like, I like them right out of the freezer. I think they taste amazing straight out of the freezer. So I cut them and then if I want it a little bit more firm, I'll just throw them back in the freezer. You could store them in a Ziploc bag. You could store them in a container. So it's up to you. I think we're done. Just adding a little bit more. This looks so good. Okay. I hope that shows you guys how easy this is to make this. I wanted to do this. I know I told you guys what to do and so many of you already made it because you're so amazing. You guys are so amazing. I just wanted to show you guys because I know some of you are more visual and uh, I hope that is very helpful for you. Okay, it's easier and cleaner to cut using the dough scraper right in the pan. Jen, the dough scraper from, from Epicure? I'm so confused. I do have their knife. I have not, I haven't used it yet. Let me see if I can find it. Um, I just wanna know what you're talking about, if it's this, but I, I clearly don't know where mine is. Do I? Oh, well, I have a knife. I'm not finding it. I don't know where I put it, but I have this thing. Does this work? This could work. I have like all of the utensils, which are super fun. I was gonna see if I could find the <clears throat> I feel like there's another knife, but I don't know. I haven't really used it yet, so that's why I haven't. That would make sense to do that. So I do like pulling it out, though, and, like, showing you guys the whole thing because that's really fun. So, all right. Oh, not Epicure, but a flat blade with a handle. I have no idea. I'm sorry. <laughs> In the silicone? In the silicone? Okay. Because the silicone, you definitely don't use a knife in here, you guys. Don't use like this kind of knife in here. You'll cut your silicone, it'll be very sad. Hence why I pulled it out. But I do have a silicone knife. I haven't tried using it. I feel like it might not be strong enough, but I don't know. That's just me. Okay. Oh, stainless steel. Okay. Oh, a different chopper. I'm gonna look at all those things after. It sounds interesting. Oh, in a glass pan. Yes, ma'am, got it, okay. All right, well, I love you guys. Do you guys have any other questions before I head out here? I'm gonna drink some more coffee. Clearly I need some because um, I made these without peanut butter. Oh. <laughs> and I get to go to the airport later and pick up my husband and my girls. So I'm excited to go see them. I hope you guys have a super Merry Christmas. I love you all. Go make this treat. Takes only five minutes. I mean, really, if you guys dump it all, get all your stuff out, dump it all together throw it in the freezer, and then you can have these ready to go for Christmas. There's no reason for you guys to derail this Christmas, okay? You can stay on plan. Okay, all right, Cindy. You go get some coffee too, my friend, all right? Uh, Merry Christmas to you, Stacy. Merry Christmas to all of you guys. I love you so much. We'll see you guys soon, okay? All right, bye guys.